Okay, listen, it's about time. Finally time for another Lumicrate unboxing, so let's get to it. Hello friends, I'm Rosa, welcome. So today, I actually cheated a little bit for the thumbnail because as you can probably hear, this is empty. <laughs> My Lumicrate box, it's so heavy this month, by the way, but it arrived in a, in a brown box this time. As far as I know, they had supplier issues, so that's all that it is. However, it doesn't really look that interesting for the thumbnail, so I cheated just a little bit. Anyway, but I got the January Lumicrate box. I feel like I've been waiting for a whole month. The December one arrived in the middle of December or something like that. And now we're almost at the middle of February. So actually I've been waiting for two months. <laughs> anyway, almost two months at least. So it's about time, but it's because of the book in this box that it was a little bit delayed this month. And I'm so excited for it. I already know what book it is. I'm not gonna say it, but I'm so excited for it. So I'm just gonna open this. I can't open it the usual way just because my address is on the top of the package. But we'll figure it out, right? Okay, here we go. So we got our theme. This is the spoiler, the spoiler card situation. January's theme is Royal Secrets. I'm not gonna read what's in it because we're gonna get some phantoms and stuff, but I feel like the book should be pretty obvious <laughs> from this from this graphic. And I see the first thing. Are these fussy socks? Oh my gosh, I love fussy socks. I'm literally wearing fussy socks right now. I don't know, here's my foot. You're welcome. Like I wear them on a daily basis, I'm not kidding. Oh yeah, we got two books in this box as well, I forgot to say. What is this inspired by? It, it has like a little... I'm gonna take them out because this is noisy. But it has a little motif on it right here. I just don't really know what it's inspired by. It feels nice though, or they feel nice. It almost, look, it almost looks like a Pokemon. What's that about? What is this? Who is it? Oh, under the orange tree. Priory of the orange tree. Is it a dragon then? Is it supposed to be a dragon? Like, I don't really know. But death, okay, orange tree, I see that. I just didn't see it before. The colors do remind me of the cover of Priory of Priory of the Orange Tree though. So, and these are designed by Pina Pali on Instagram. Keep cozy this winter with these cute fluffy socks inspired by the Priory of the Orange Tree. So I'll use these actually. I'm just saying, cause I wear fussy socks literally every day. <laughs> They're nice. Oh, we got a group situation again. I don't know if I can put them here, but if they fall down, that's how that is. I also see this one and I'm actually super excited for this. This is a We Hunt the Flame puzzle. If you want to see the motif, it looks like this. I forgot the lead characters' names, but we got them right here. So I'm guessing that, yeah, the final motif is basically this. And we got all the puzzle pieces in here. And it's almost like shaped like a book's book, Sing singular book. So you can actually have it like displayed on your bookcases as well. Well, this is gonna be cute. It'd be fun to... I haven't done a puzzle in such a long time. So I'm actually gonna have a good time with that. But let's see. And it is made by... The artwork is by Lesha Blackbird and the design is by... So this like surrounding bit is by Chatty Nora. Our latest puzzle story features Safira and Nasir from We Hunt the Flame. A duology that I really want to read and I own the books. I've owned them for months and months and months and I've just not taken the time to read them yet. But I will. Okay, I've heard so many good things about them, especially the second book. So yeah, this is gonna be very interesting. Interesting. I think I'm gonna have a good time with this. It's always cozy to like do puzzles and stuff. Have a like do the puzzle with like a cup of tea or something. There's a couple more items before we get what is this? Oh, okay. It looks like a pendant. What is it? So it looks like a pendant. I don't really wear jewelry that's like uh, that has like motifs on it and stuff stuff like this. So I'll probably just display this on my bookcases. But it says night and day rule from there to thrones. So this is inspired by the never tilting. What was it called? Never the never tilting world. It literally says. I it literally says right there. But I don't really. I don't personally wear jewelry or stuff that has like motifs on it like this. So I'll probably just have it hanging from some of the hooks on my bookcases. It's very well made though. Quality feels nice. Oh wait, what? It has two sides. <laughs> of course it does. So you got the sun side here. If the camera would focus, here's the sun side and then you can tilt it or like turn it. So we have the night side here. I don't know, I feel like it's fun. I'm gonna use this as a decor on my shelves. It's one of the things that 
I always keep in mind when I get these book boxes, buy them, that you can actually get wearable things that I personally, like headbands and stuff you can get use of, socks as well, but like jewelry stuff, I personally don't really get use of that, so that is something that I keep in mind. But this is designed by Flutter and Fern. It says the stunning spinning pendant necklace is inspired by the never tilting world, which is a book that I wasn't aware of at all. I didn't know, I didn't know it existed. <laughs> So, and then we have what looks like a phone holder. What does it say? You're a survivor. Oh, this has to be the prison healer. This has to be inspired by the prison healer. Like that looks like it's inspired by the prison healer. Does it not? I feel like it does. How do you use it? You use it like, no. How do you use it? I don't know how to use these. Do you do like this? But then the phone falls over. I'm very confused how this is used. Is it like this then? But why is there art on, I'm confused. Oh gosh. I don't know how much I'll get you, how much use I'll get out. Can you even see that? I place it like this. The thing is, I don't know how much use I'll get out of a phone holder. Cause usually when I work, when I sit at my computer, which is basically what I've been using the phone holder, I always have my phone like this cause I hate notifications. But I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I think that's how it's supposed to be put together. I'm not really sure. But I think that is inspired by the prison healer. You're a survivor phone holder designed by no one designs. The super handy phone holder is inspired by the prison healer. So yeah. And now we got the books. They're not doing pins anymore. So not a thing, no pin this time. Let's start with the smallest book, which is the one that I already own. So, <laughs> you know, I know which one it is, but I think it does have, it has frayed edges. Oh, and I think it also has an exclusive cover, which is pretty cool. So this is uh, The Ivory Key by Akshaya Raman. The original cover is green instead, like a very vibrant, very saturated green. And this also has blue sprayed edges. These blue sprayed edges are, <laughs> wow, very, very, very vibrant as well. I actually really like this. Wait, it matches my nails. I only noticed just now. I was about to say, I actually really like this color, but obviously... So this book is about estranged royal siblings. One of them is going to become queen, but to become queen, she needs to get her hands on the ivory key. So she calls in her siblings as well to help her get this ivory key. And they all have something to gain as well from collecting the key or from like getting it somehow. Four siblings? I thought it was five. I don't know, anyway. It says four siblings, a country in ruin, one quest to save them all. So that is what it's, a, what it's about. Estranged siblings, probably relationships that aren't super healthy. <laughs> but yes, I'm actually really excited for this book. I still don't know which version I wanna, I wanna read though. Do I wanna read this one or do I wanna read my other version? Because that's also a special edition. I don't really know. So anyway, but we have the ivory key. I really should have placed the camera differently so you could actually <laughs> see the items. I didn't think about it. I'll think about it for next for next time. I'll have some more unboxings this month as well, so that I'm super excited for, actually. Okay, next up we have... Oh, there's no artwork on it. I thought there'd be artwork on it, but it's the author letter. If you want to read it, you can pause the video right here and... There you go, I'm gonna read it afterward. But the book, oh my gosh. Wait, it looks so different. I'm really excited for this. Okay, the book is... This feels... This seems bigger than it usually is. That's funny. But the book is, oh my gosh, okay, wow. This Woman Kingdom by Tahara Mafi. This is like directly on the naked heart cover or in the naked cover. It's like there's no no dust jacket and we got, wait, this is beautiful, wow, okay. Wow, there's so much foiling on it, wow. Look how shiny this is. Oh no, it has like a scratch right in the middle of it. Oh no, I wonder if I can contact them about that. That's like a major scratch literally right in the middle of my book, hmm. Anyway, but we also have printed edges right here. If you want to see what they look like, they match the rest of the book. So they have this like, what is that? Is that a, is that a moth? I was about to say, is it a bee? It looks like a moth, right? It matches this bit up here as well. <laughs> look how shiny that is. Wow. <laughs> that is gorgeous. This looks so different from the original cover. The original cover is a lot, think a lot more like this. Do you see? Not the same at all. It's like yellow with some kind of helmet with like chain chain mail on it there's roses as well very yellow very red and then gold ish i think so this looks very very different it's gorgeous let's see what else we got Ooh. oh wait we got two letters that's why there's no art on it this is the letter for the ivory key but this is the letter from tahira Mafi. so if you want to read this you can pause the video right here and um, i'll read it afterwards as per usual and there's artwork on the back as well that's why i was confused because like there's usually always artwork on the author letter i was very confused oh but the end papers look 
gorgeous that's a very vibrant orange wow gorgeous though and i believe yes it should be signed as well right here so it has a uh i think it's a dark like directly signed yeah it is oh it's gorgeous how how pretty is the original book i'm curious now like this has like hold on look at the artwork on these papers as well like it's absolutely beautiful and it says illuminate exclusive as well so wow i'm excited for this i'm so excited for this i'm gonna read the back because i forgot what the book is about like i'm not gonna lie i forgot it happens <laughs> Anyway, it says, Clashing Empires, Forbidden Romance, and a long-forgotten queen destined to save her people. To all the world, Elisa is a disposable servant, not the long-lost heir to an ancient jinn kingdom forced to hide in plain sight. The crown prince, Kamram, has heard the prophecies foretelling the death of his king, but he could never have imagined that the servant girl with the strange eyes, the girl he can't put out of his mind, would one day soon uproot his kingdom and the world. Sounds a little bit like, a uh, yeah, both forbidden love, but also kind of like enemies to lovers maybe we got obviously royal secrets hidden royal how do you say that hidden royal identities i think <laughs> so i'm really excited for this book i think it's also going to be on the poll for my book club for april i think so i don't think i'm gonna read this copy though I need a I need a standard version of the cup of this book because I can't make myself read them when they're so pretty. But anyway, I know you can't really see it if I put it there. But as for the items, not really sure if I like them that much. Probably not gonna get much use out of these ones as I have with some of the others. I do like the puzzle a lot though. The fussy socks are definitely gonna come in handy, but the pendant and also the phone holder, I'll probably not get much use of. I'll probably just hang this on my bookcases though. The books though, love them, so I wasn't really expecting too much from the items as well because it is a two book box this month, so that is the thing. But the books are gorgeous and I love the overall theme as well. So yeah, but I have plenty of other unboxings coming as well, so I'm super excited because my mom gave me a three month sub to another book box and the first box is already on its way, so I'm so, so excited to to open that, but we'll get to that once it arrives here. But um, I wanna see if I can get in contact with them because it's a pretty big scratch like right in the middle of the book. Like it's pretty eye-catching, it's like from one side to the other. Other than that, this is a beautiful copy. I'm really impressed. All that foiling, it's gorgeous. And the edges as well absolutely stunning so well that's about it from me so i hope you all enjoyed this unboxing there'll be more of them in the future of course like i said before also other book boxes yes i love doing these it's like it's like christmas every time i get one of these boxes so i'm like yeah um so there'll be more of them in the future but if you enjoyed this video please feel free to give it a thumbs up and also if you want to hang out with me and talk about books with both me and everyone in the comments definitely consider hitting the subscribe button but that is all i got today so i'm gonna go put these things back in their spot or not back in their spots i'm gonna go find some spots for them because they don't have spots yet <laughs> but i hope you all enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye